Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to play the card game Doomlings. The object of Doomlings is you're going to try to become the player that has the most amount of points by the end of the game. Now, the way this game works is you've got two different stacks of piles. You've got the ages pile and then you have the traits pile. Now the trace pile are what you're going to be playing in front of you and they're going to have different point values on them and in some cases they're going to have different actions that you can take in some cases you'll be able to score extra points at the end so in the very beginning what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and uh, deal out three age cards here that are not catastrophes and stick them up in stack in three different stacks then what you're going to do is you're going to take three of the catastrophe cards at random and you're going to place one of the catastrophe cards on each type of pile and anytime you draw a catastrophe card everybody is going to go ahead and do what it says here when it is their turn and if it turns out to be what is called world's end they're going to go ahead and do this now world's end is going to be the third catastrophe card that is drawn from here once that happens the game is going to end and everybody's going to count up their points and there are a whole bunch of different catastrophe cards in this game and then what you do is you're going to go ahead and just shuffle all of these cards together like so and this is going to make uh, your ages pile and then what you're going to do is you're going to stick the birth of life card on top because that's what you're going to go ahead and start with so you're going to go ahead and deal out five trait cards to each player and then each player is going to receive what is called the gene pool card and you're going to set this up with a five on top and what this represents is this represents how many cards that you're going to be able to have in your hand at the end of the turn and throughout the game this is going to be shifting sometimes it'll be six sometimes five it could go down to four three and it's just going to be shifting throughout the game depending on what cards are played or that show up in the ages pile so some of the cards that are in the traits pile are standard point cards like this and there's uh, different colors and this one would be worth two points there are certain cards that will uh, have an action on there that you can play when you play the card so if i were to play this this one says swap two traits in play of the same color so i would be able to go ahead and do that you also have what are called the dominant cards and typically these are going to uh, add points to your hand in the scoring or something to that effect and uh, the only thing with this is you're only going to be able to play two of these throughout the game unless you have a card that says you'll be able to play three. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look and see the ages and see if there's anything I can do. This gives me plus five Dean pool, so we already start with that. So since I've gone ahead and done that, I'm going to go ahead and look at my card and see what I would like to play. Uh, so I'm just looking at my cards and let's just say I decide to play this uh, it's worth four points There's no text on here or actions So that's going to go ahead and end my turn and so what I'll do next is what's called stabilize and stabilize Just simply means I'm going to go ahead and put this many get this many cards back into my hand So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and draw one and depending on how many cards I have I may have to discard as well So let's say it goes to my opponent and he's going to go ahead and look at his cards and let's just say he decides he's going to play the denial card. This one says ignore the next catastrophe. So if say he decides he's going to go ahead and play this. Now since this is a dominant card, he's only going to be able to play two of these types of cards. And so he'll go ahead and stabilize his hand again. So now he is up to five cards again. And now it goes back to me. So the next thing that's going to happen is this is going to be discarded. And the next age card is going to be turned up. And this one says tropical lands. And this says players cannot play colorless traits. So in this hand, I'm not going to be able to play a, a trait of this color. And this is going to be called your trait pile. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and look at my hand. Um, and this one seems to be a pretty nasty card here. Let's play the venomous. So it says venomous. And it says play another trait, then move venomous into opponent's trait pile. So let's say I decide I'm going to go ahead and play this. And then I'm going to go ahead and follow this and move this over here. So now my opponent has it. And so after that, I'm going to go ahead and stabilize my hand again. And now it goes to my opponent and he's going to go ahead and follow this as well. So he looks and let's just say he decides he's just going to play the gills card and he plays that. So once again, after all the turns have been taken, this card will be discarded and the next one will get flipped up. And now we have a catastrophe. So we'll look at the super volcano. First, it says negative one in your gene pool. So this is now going to go to four and this is going to be for everybody. And then it says discard one card from your hand for, for every blue trait in your trait pile. Since I have no blue traits in my trait pile, I don't have to worry about discarding anything. And it's not world's end yet. So since I've gone ahead and resolved this, 
I'm gonna go ahead and go back into playing one of my cards here. And so it's just gonna be basically going back and forth like this. And you're just gonna keep on playing, following what this says, playing cards, following any actions that you happen to have. And then you'll just keep going until the third catastrophe shows up. And once that shows up, everybody's gonna go ahead and count up the cards in their hand, their points, any multipliers that they may have. Whoever has the most amount of points is gonna win. And that folks is Doomlings. So my thoughts on Doomlings. Well, this is a very fun little card game. This game uh, plays differently every time. There are a ton of cards in this game, each that have different texts, uh, different actions that you can take. There's some in which you can take cards from your opponent. There's some where you can give your card neg opponent negative cards. There's others that will add multipliers at the end of the game, depending on the colors that you have or the colors your opponent has. I mean, there's so much going on in this game. It reminds me a lot of the game Flux, where the game just changes. And this is kind of similar to that. And it's uh, not a hard game to learn at all. Uh, the instructions are really short. And once you start playing it, you get it. Um, I would definitely recommend this game to anybody who uh, likes games that have a lot of change-ups in them. It's got a cool little theme. Um, the artwork is really nice. The cards are really well made. It's a good little game, and I would recommend it. So that is my review of Doomlings. Take care. Keep on gaming.